let's face the truth. Every game needs a UI. Something like a button, or maybe even an icon. It doesn't matter. But what does matter is that there is something on the screen that the player can press to make another action happen. In our case, it's a main menu. For example, have a look at Minecraft's UI. It's nice and simple. So strap in and get ready for a quick and easy tutorial on how to make a main menu in Roblox Studio. Alright guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new Roblox Studio folder and it's quite simple, just go to, um, if I close this file, what I can do is I can go to base plate and I can just click that, just like that. And you should um, appear in something a bit like this. So this is quite easy, just delete the spawn point, um, insert a part, get this part, move it upwards, just like that. We're gonna maybe go like this, or we're just gonna keep it like that actually. I'm gonna put it a bit higher. Um, uh, perfect. So now what we want to do is we actually want to go to start a GUI and we want to create a string GUI. Let's just call this camera GUI. Quite. Soon. And what we can do now is we're gonna take a local script, put it inside there, and in the local script, we're just gonna copy and paste the script in the description because it is quite long. Um, just to make it shorter and easier. Perfect, and it should look something like this when you were done. Um, perfect, that's pretty much it. All we need to do now is to rename this to camera handler, just like that. And that's pretty much it. What we can do now is we can close this script off. Um, yeah, um, what we can do now, so pretty much when we spawn in the game, oh yeah, well sorry, one more thing, make sure this is anchored, do not forget. Um, once we spawn in the game, we should see a camera, uh, but we actually need to do one more thing first. So in the camera GUI, insert a text button, text button, just make it rough, you know, just like a normal button you would have. And double click, make it say play, change your background colour to about something like this dark grey. Make the background 0.1, so it's a little, a little see-through. And then inside the text button, you insert a UI corner just to make the corners a bit rounded. And now for the text, scroll down, make it white, just like that. Text scaled, and source sans bold. Or you can use whatever font you like. Perfect. Now what you can do is camera handler insert. Sorry, no, in camera GUI, insert a text label and call it the horror school just like that perfect and now we can make the background transparency one go scroll down to text text scaled source sans bold um and then we can zoom it up just like this this is like rough you can do whatever you like really perfect so make sure to change this level to play button just like this just like that, boom. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and play and see if this camera works. Perfect, as you can see now, the camera is working and we can now see it from the angle where the camera is. So now what we need to do is, we need to make the teleport actually work. So when we press this button, we want it to make us teleport to another game. So to do this, go and open a new Google Chrome tab and drag it like that and you want to go to roblox and you want to find any game you like for example welcome to Bloxburg. um don't ask me why i bought it um and all you need to do is go to the url and highlight these numbers here but for me i'm going to do different i'm going to change my i'm going to take my own game so i'm going to go to my creations and i go to horror just like this this is a game that's coming out very soon and we're going to highlight these numbers just like that. Go back to Robot Studio. I need the play button. I'm gonna do. Sorry, I, I, I named it the wrong thing. Play button. We need to name this play button. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, insert a local script inside here. In this local script, we're gonna write a really what's it called? Really easy script. So we're gonna write script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect to the function. And if you go down, you can write an N should appear, and you can write game colon get service teleport service 
just like that. And outside the bracket, you're gonna write colon, um, teleport, and then you're gonna do another bracket and speech marks. And this is where you're gonna paste the ID in. Perfect, just like that. Now what we can do is we can go back to here and we can go to lighting. I'm gonna insert a blur effect. Sorry, no, a blur effect. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and press play and let's see what happens. And as you can see, it's kind of blurred. And what happens when we press play, as you can see here, it says cannot teleport in the Roblox studio. And that's because we cannot teleport in the Um, So what we need to do is we need, we need to publish this game. So just go to game settings, publish the game, just like that. Name it to tutorial or whatever you like. I don't really care. And I'm going to do this is for a YouTube video. Like that. And then check console, just like that. Genre, all, create. Perfect. All right, so pretty much what we can do now is we can go to the, what's it called? We can go to Roblox and now we can go to your own account. And in your own account, you should find this place in creations. If you don't, then I really don't know. And as you can see, we've got it right here. Oh, I know this isn't the one. This is a previous one I made. Sorry. No, no, no. Yes, there we go. Finally. It's finally here. Geez, that took for ages. Um, so now what we can do, guys, is we can actually go ahead and play this game. And let's see what happens. So pretty much what should happen is when I press the play button, it should teleport me to my game. So I guess let's have a go and see if it works. All right, so as you can see, we've joined it. Um, don't worry if it's a bit like inaccurate on the screen, it's fine. But now we can just see what happens when I press play. Yeah! Oh my God, but there we go, it's working. That's amazing. Oh my Anyway, guys, that was pretty much it of what we're gonna be doing. Uh, what we're doing. Um, we're actually getting quite close to the end of this series. So next video we're gonna be making. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna be doing like attack animation, something like that. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe if it helps you. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.